Stickworm was tired of watching TV. There must be something else to do, he thought. And then he had an idea. He would run for president. Stickworm for President by Rick Walton. With illustrations even you could have drawn. Stickworm made his announcement. All around the world, excited people asked the important question, What's on TV? They didn't care about Stickworm. He would have to change that. Stickworm traveled around the country. He spoke to many crowds and ate many dinners, although at times he was shocked at what he was served. He made many promises. No more early birds. Wearing striped shirts with plaid pants will be illegal. False teeth for all. Stickworm began to rise in the polls. His opponents took notice. They began to spread nasty rumors about him. Stickworm used to be a hippie. Stickworm used to be a communist. Stickworm's granddaddy was hung for stealing horse manure. Stickworm is a vampire. They made fun of Stickworm. <laughs> Stickworm was very sad. He cried on his father's shoulder. His father comforted him, then said, Son, you have to fight back. Stand up for yourself, even if you don't have legs. Stickworm told the country about his work with the Red Cross. He told stirring stories of his time in the army and let it slip that he'd won a medal for no-handedly defeating the Axis powers in Mango Mango. He talked about his patriot ancestors. And somehow, word got out that in his spare time, Stickworm was really... Superworm! On election day, the race was close. Stickworm was nervous. But when the results were finally announced, Stickworm had won! Stickworm was very happy. He went right to work. He had important meetings with leaders of other countries and of other planets. He had a portrait made of himself, and he invaded France. But soon, Stickworm was tired of being president. There must be something else to do, he thought. And then he knew what he was born to do.